Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Uh, another episode coming from the Philippines today. Today we're going to talk about the bolo knife. The bolo knife is a it's what we call a machete type knife in the Philippines. It's basically the same knife you'll find in Malaysia and Indonesia. They all have this little rat tail tang on them, which I think is their biggest downfall because almost every knife comes, this is a, a grass cutting knife, every knife cut here comes with this same type of wood here. I'm not sure what kind it is, but it's a soft wood. And when you have it on a heavier knife and you're chopping a couple trees down, after two or three trees, the blade gets loose in the handle and the handle falls off and you have to replace it. This handle here is the root from the root of a guava tree. And what I did for that was I heated the rat tail up in a fire till it was glowing red and then took the block of, of guava and just put it on the top and just kind of let it, let it pound itself into the knife handle. And then when I got it, got it set all the way in there, put a little water on it to cool it, and then let the, the handle dry for about a week and the wood kind of contracts onto it and then I shaped it into a, into a usable, usable shape. I prefer myself, this is a knife I had made here in the Philippines and it's just a, a full tang knife, it's a heavy knife, it's 2.2 pounds a kilo but it is fantastic for cutting trees up to six eight inches around and beyond fantastic on, on saplings. It's strong. It's a parang design. Uh, I saw the design on a knife that Rick Mears carries. His is much thinner though. But it, it is just a really good design. Um, here's another knife here that I the handle broke on it so I took a piece of firewood and drilled two little holes in it and then drove the handle in and put some epoxy on it and that handle has lasted for almost three years now. Pretty nice. Um, here's here's a knife here that that came with a nice little wood sheath wrapped with uh, bamboo or rattan and a nice little wrap on the handle here. Uh, also a very nice thick spine on it. These, the thick spine knives here are made from car and truck springs, mostly cars with, or, or van springs. And it's a good, a good spring steel. It holds a very nice edge. Uh, here's another knife here, a different style knife, more like a cleaver. And this is my utility knife. I use this for everything from splitting wood, uh, uh, making kin making tinder and kindling, uh, carving spindles and, and uh, roughing out spoons, things like that. We also use it in the kitchen for chopping up carrots and things like that. Uh, just a fantastic uh, knife. It only weighs about a pound and a half, but it's still heavy enough to chop sp saplings, things like that. This is a little knife I was given by a, a medicine man up in the mountains, deep in the mountains in the Cebu back in 1992. He used this knife to do all his chopping for all his uh, medic medicinal cures. Uh, the other thing I was going to mention about the Bolo style knives is they all have an edge on just one side. The other side is flat. So if you are right-handed you need to make sure the bevel is on the right side of the knife so when you chop into a tree it digs in and with your left hand you get the bevel on the other side you can buy either either type here it's no problem at all um, well that's about it for bolos thanks for watching